I'm gonna try to start it. If I can plug in the... See, this thing's got the start button right here. And that's... That's part of this panel. This this blue circuit board, which has this this connector. So I figure if I plug this connector in right here, I can press the power button and see if it comes on. It doesn't need anything else plugged in to come on. It already shows this this motherboard's live. So it could have just been a bad memory stick or something. We still don't have any clue what it was, but uh We might get lucky here. I told you what I'm doing, Hummingbird. Alright, so I'm removing this circuit board for the power supply buttons because I can't plug the stupid thing in. So I'm going to remove the whole circuit board and that will give me better access to see what I'm doing to plug it in to here. Okay. Nothing. This has got no RAM, but it's got the fan connected. It's got... the RAM's optional anyways. It doesn't need a video card, it doesn't need anything to do something. Should be able to boot up. It could be that the power button's broke. Um, so we can still check that. Hmm. Let me try.
Gosh, guys, it's on. Huh? I fixed it. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Guys, I fixed it. Oh my gosh. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Look, guys, we got four lights. Eat that mailbox. Holy crap. I can put it back together again, no problemo. I still don't know why it didn't turn on earlier though. Uh, I didn't change any parts or anything, so... Maybe, um, one of the RAM slots was like... Not snapped in well? I don't know. But, uh... Whatever it is. Wow. Okay, let's let's try reassembly. It could still be like a, the USB port or something. So, we'll we'll put it together very systematically. Gosh, I I can hardly believe this. Well, let's get going then. Um, You know who thinks you can ruin computers with static? Same people that are grammar Nazis. Are you gonna trust a grammar Nazi? It's called a urban myth. Or urban legend. Only children believe that. Someday you guys will become alpha males and you won't care about grounding and other childish matters that only a baby would care about.
cool. Check it out. Um, all right, 3071M system ram passed. 1024KB L2 catch. System bio shadowed. Video BIOS shadowed, mouse initialized, system configuration data enabled, error, system configuration data read error. Press F1 to resume, F2 to set up. Because I don't have my hard drive installed, that's what I'm thinking. I got a lot of stuff missing. But that's okay. We have rock solid visuals on my monitor, which means um, it's not the graphics card. It's the LCD display failing. Oh gosh. Let's see where that one went. This one is a uh, June of 2008, and I couldn't get it to really, I mean, it would power on, but I couldn't get anything on the screen, so let's hope this one works. <laughs> this one has a webcam, though. I thought about taking the whole thing, but with a webcam, that makes it a little more difficult. See if I can remember how I got this to split the last time. Always start in an inconspicuous area. I was actually a little more violent than the other one. no way to do this that isn't scary as you're doing it. I don't think. Oh, I've got to lose the, uh, the latch. Alright. So, with this, I'm going to pull the inverter board out. going to be a little more to the left when I'm looking at it because I want to make sure I get it. Okay, we'll only plug it one way. That's good. Let's sit this one down. <laughs> sit on the side. Sit on the plant. I'm not going to no, it's not grounded. It's not grounded to the chassis because that just goes in the plastic. Alright, 
so that's it. than I did before. Wait, did I just... Oh wait, this is... This actually has windows on it. Let's see. Last time I had to have a light focused right on it. Look at anything. Try. Tell that this is an aftermarket panel. It's flashing at me about the battery. Okay. Oh my goodness. can make the whole laptop dead apparently plus it might have might have been the extreme amount of dust that was trapped in it too overheating it causing it to crash and not turn on from the thermal sensor shutting down the processor to protect it so I could have had multiple issues but the screen was the first and then it could have been a coincidence that the processor was overheating as soon as it turned on as well possibly could have had bad thermal paste that might have dried out because it over it was overheating from the dust trapping, and the overheating could have also blew apart in the inverter for the backlight inverter of the LCD. Um, so the overheating might have had multiple consequences. I'm not sure, but the computer certainly wasn't turning on 
And then it just randomly started turning on again today. I didn't change anything, except cleaning everything out and replacing all the thermal paste. Or thermal compound. That was on the processor. And cleaning out thoroughly the fan and all the heat sink um, fins. Well, I'm just glad I know for a fact this is going to be a successful repair now. It's a done deal. Because I got it to work perfectly with an external monitor. And I also was able to verify through research that all the symptoms indicate a backlight inverter. So this is going to be like a $10 part. Unless if I can fix the inverter itself in which case it might be like a 80 cent part or free part actually because I might have the part required so it might be a free repair still that'd be my preference No, I did not break it. 